do is I want to get to our guest, uh, Don Cheryl, who's a uh, bodybuilder, bench presser. He's a he's a amateur athlete who's also competing competitively. Uh, I'll let Don explain it as we get up here. But what we want to do is help him reach his goal of lifting or excuse me, bench pressing a certain amount. And uh, we're going to take a short break here and then come back with Don Cheryl. So, uh, welcome, Don. Thank uh, you. This is Don Cheryl. As I've gotten retired, I've gotten into uh, the hobby of power lifting, which is a, a particular sport. And it's a bit unusual, I think, for somebody at 65 years old, but, you know, you only go through life once. That's right. So, uh, anyway, so I've been uh, actually competitively uh, lifting in the power lifting sport, and I've actually been through several contests, and I've actually set a national record and some local records. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm going for some particular goals, and powerlifting, you understand, is not bodybuilding. It's, uh, it's, it's basically uh, three exercises, which is called a bench press, a squat, and a deadlift. Those are the three things you do. It's not weightlifting, and it's not bodybuilding. Those are all separate sports. So, so what are you trying to accomplish? What I'm trying to accomplish, uh, since uh, on a bench press, uh, my goal at the next meet is to be able to do 300-pound mm -hmm. bench press. And right now I'm, I'm vacillating in around uh, 275, 280, and that range is my max. Mm -hmm. And I know I can do more, but I think I have some issues, uh, psychological and mental issues that, uh, that are probably uh, affecting my ability. Mm -hmm. And if I can block, get those blocks out of the way, I think I'll be able to focus more on, on that side of the equation, which is a big side of this mm -hmm. lifting. It's not just all muscles. It's mm -hmm. it's mind as well. And a lot of it's right. mind. Right. Now, we've done some sessions in the past, and they've helped some, but not. we haven't gotten to the point where we've reached what I call the linchpin decision, which is holding this, this thing in place. Right. And, and you seem to be stuck at a certain level. I'm kind of, yeah, and, and uh, that's right. And it has helped. It helped me uh, get some control, mm -hmm. and which has helped me uh, get to where I am now. But we haven't had a, what I would call a breakthrough yet. Right, right. So we're trying to work on focusing on finding out where that might be and what we can do. First of all, what was the background a little bit? As far as what we worked on before, now we, we got to where you were afraid to lift or you were afraid of hurting yourself or afraid of getting to a certain point, and we enlisted the, the aid of your so-called invisible friend right, to help you to lift and, and right. get, get a little more comfortable with control on that issue. Is that, is that that's right. true? Yes, that's true, and I still invoke that, okay. that friend. Uh, but it's only gotten me to a certain point. Okay. And uh, when we were talking about that, that was 20 or 25 pounds before I, where I am now. Uh -huh. So it, it's helped me get to where I am now. So it has progressively helped. So it helped. has progressively helped, and, 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 but it hasn't, we haven't yet made a breakthrough. And I'm not really certain in my own mind whether the breakthrough is a physical breakthrough or a mental breakthrough or some combination. Uh -huh. So I'm open to that possibility. Why don't we ask the question? Right. Say, say my name is Don. My name is Don. Let's try off. Let's start off with the easy stuff. Uh, say I have four arms and five legs. I have four arms and five legs. Oh, okay. So we're yes and no is still intact here. Uh, I can easily bench press 350 pounds. I can easily bench press 350 pounds. I can easily bench press 390 pounds. I can easily bench press 390 pounds. I can easily bench press 400 pounds. I can easily bench press 400 pounds. No. Okay, so we're getting higher. We're getting actually. higher. Actually, your limit, your limit's going up from 350 to 400. So right. that, that's uh, that's that's a good sign. Now, if we can just translate <laughs> that into reality, um, I can I can physically let's see because in our mind, let's let's make that distinction okay. because we didn't make that distinction before, mm -hmm. uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. Mm -hmm. I can physically bench press 300 pounds. I can physically bench press 300 pounds. Uh, I can do this safely. I can do this safely. Yes. Uh, I can mentally bench press 300 pounds. I can mentally be bench press 300 pounds. I can emotionally bench press 300 pounds. I can emotionally bench press 300 pounds. 300 should not be a problem. Mm -hmm. See, if you felt like if there was any doubt in your mind that you know you're going to get hurt. That's why I say safely, yeah, I, physically. I, I don't think hurting is an issue anymore. Okay, so uh, it, is, it would be for me. <laughs> okay, I got a lot of so, I, mean, uh, I can safely physically bench press 350 pounds. I can safely physically bench press 300 pounds. 350? 350. 350. No. I can safely physically bench press 320 pounds. I can safely physically bench press 320 pounds. Oh. 
Yeah. 330 pounds. 300, that's his whole thing? No. Mm -hmm. you know 330 pounds. Oh. No. So somewhere between 320, 330, you can safely physically do that. Now, maybe that will go up, but mentally or, or whatever other way, uh, as far as the gestalt, 400 is your limit right. now. So, uh, that's, that's the on the outside. Yeah. That's So there are different levels depending on the different uh, parts of you that are joining the, the fray. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> what I, need to um, I can mentally... I can mentally bench press three, 320 pounds. I can mentally bench press 320 pounds. I can emotionally be bench press 320 pounds. I can emotionally bench press 300 pounds. 320 pounds. 320 pounds. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can do it 300, but 320, I can emotionally bench press 310 pounds. I can emotionally bench press 310 pounds. Um, now it's getting weak. Yeah. I can emotionally bench press 302 pounds. I can emotionally bench press 302 pounds. Hold. No. Mm. I can emotionally bench press 300 pounds. I can emotionally bench press 300 pounds. Oh. Okay. Huh. Interesting. See how that works? Yeah. Yeah. So these emotional issues, that then means right. we need to tie in it. So it isn't probably a physical issue more than an emotional yeah. issue. That's true. Which means we can attach it, attack right. it. <laughs> well, not so much attack it, but address it. Address it. Okay. Right. I uh, we're not, yeah, yeah. I know you're <laughs> you're a warrior. Uh, so we're we're going to address the issue. And uh, but the good news is, 300 pounds seems to be within your grasp mm -hmm. on all levels. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of time and conditioning, and then getting to that point, and then mm -hmm. it just happens. So I don't think that's a problem for you. But 400 is your limit, your new limit. <laughs> that that's great, yeah, that's a good limit. <laughs> and so, uh, but as you can see, you get about 300 emotionally, you're holding yourself back. Mm -hmm. There's an emotional issue mm -hmm. there. Uh, let's raise, and, and again, I don't want to take anything for granted. This is my emotional issue. This is, is my last? emotional issue. Oh. Oh? Did you remember last time it turned out we had found my grandfather or something? Uh -huh. A couple of generations okay. back. Uh, this is my. This emotional issue is on my mother's side. This emotional issue is on my mother's side. Oh. So on my father's side. And my father this emotional issue is on my father's side. Oh. Yes. Okay. On my grandfather's side. This emotional issue is on my father's father's side. Oh. Okay. Uh, some other it goes back even further. Say that. It goes back even further. Oh. No. Okay, so it's your grandfather. Okay. So close your eyes. And have a conference with your grandfather. If you can see him, fine. If you can't, just bring him in. And just ask him what he needs. Well, I can certainly visualize your okay. grandfather. So what happened? Something happened to him that made him have a decision that he was weak or that he couldn't do certain things. Well, I know. I mean, he's not, I'm not hearing you tell me this, but I know he had a heart attack Okay, so he when, was, he, when he was younger than me. So he felt physically weak. Well, he was because of his heart attack. Right. Yeah, right. he had limited what he could right. do. But so, I don't know, before that, he wasn't particularly that anymore. It doesn't matter. He okay. had his heart attack when he was, I don't know. I so let's just have a conference with your grandfather right, right now. Right. And just ask him if he's willing to release you Ask if he's allow if he will allow you to grow beyond that weakness. I get an immediate uh, absolutely response. Yeah. Okay. And so just close your eyes. Just ask for his blessing. Just breathe in that blessing and give that to everyone involved. Okay. And then come back in your body. Open your eyes. Okay. And let's check it out again. And see what happens. Um, I can emotionally bench press at least 320 pounds. I can emotionally bench press at least 320 pounds. Oh. Yeah. I can emotionally bench press at least 350 pounds. I can emotionally bench press at least 350 pounds. I can emotionally bench press at least 400 pounds. I can emotionally bench press at least 400 pounds. Oh. Yeah. But what were the other things that limited you? Uh, well, we went metaphysical uh, to injury, remember? Right, 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 right. Safely. So the, safely is 320, right? I think that's what it was. Okay. Now, to overcome physical limitation, beliefs, uh, it's almost like our body has to do it. Mm -hmm. Have you lifted over 320 pounds in any way, shape, or form? With some assistance from the trainer. Yes. Okay. So you have done that. But beyond that, you haven't done. No. Okay. So that's what your body is saying. And until you do that, your body won't make a new decision. 
Are you with me? So I can sit here, we can muscle test and do all that, but your body is the one in charge as far as the physical. You think maybe what I, if I get to the gym with, with the trainer, and even though it's up to three, the higher weight, as long as he's there to help me. If you can do it at all physically, even with help. Yeah, I can do it with I mean, I haven't done more than 320 with help. Well, I'm saying with I help, if you could do like 350, I, something I, like that. I'm it. sure, you know, if he helped me, I could. He's going to help me. So what we, can do, what we can do is we can work on the emotional, mental, spiritual mm -hmm. aspects of it with logical soul. But if you can actually physically do something like 350 mm -hmm. or 340, whatever it is, higher than mm -hmm. where you are. See, because you actually physically did 320, mm -hmm. your body has a decision, 320, that's it. Now, you can go higher than that because mentally and emotionally you believe you can, then, uh, then you will go higher than that. Your body doesn't really hold you back. It's the mental, emotional, right. spiritual stuff that mostly holds you back. But once your body has that, then it becomes the new norm. You know what I'm saying? Good. Just like you experience that. Right. So uh, once we get you uh, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually at a 350 level, you with me? Mm -hmm. Then there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to go in and do it 350 physically, uh, with help, of course. But then once you do that, then that becomes anchored, you see? And then that becomes the new the new norm. Well, we're already at that level in the other areas, right? Three Let's check. I, I, I want to check and make sure. Mm -hmm. um, I can easily lift 350 mentally. I can easily bench press, bench three, press 350 three. mentally. Oh. I can easily bench press 350 emotionally. I can easily bench press 350 emotionally. Oh. Yeah, okay. So the only thing holding you back now is physical. Mm -hmm. So. All you got to do is do it. Get in the gym and get him to yeah, spot get, for me. Get three or four it. guys to lift both ends. And <laughs> <then you're> getting... <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I'm just saying that once, see, once your once your body gets it, once it's integrated into this feeling, like, oh, that was hard, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and once your body understands what that feels like, then your body will have that. As and, that and that goes along with what I know about training in the gym too, because uh, mm -hmm. uh, your body, a lot of times when we work out. Uh, we lift the heavier weight just to shock the body, so the body says, "Oh, that's what that feels like." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you don't really know what it feels like. That's that's exactly what I'm saying. And and so, even though you might get some assistance in it, right. just just handling the weight gets your your phys your mind body connection, and it right. says, "Oh, I see." Right. <laughs> you know. Otherwise, it doesn't see. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, like I'm pushing myself now to ride my unicycle three miles a day, you know. Whereas before, I could barely make a mile a week, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do five miles. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, uh, okay, well, you gotta work out the endurance. Well, once you do it, it's like, okay, that's the new norm. Right. And then you keep doing more. So, okay. thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. Appreciate it again. Let me know how it goes. I'm sure you will. Come on, Don. Pride, 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 pride. Beautiful. You, you, got, you got that up. I got it, even though I had to fight this yeah. down. And okay. he's the one who we worked with on to get, uh, what, we were trying to get you up to 300 for the bench press, right? right? And you made it to what? 315. 315, and that was when? About a year ago. So that was uh, 2014. So it took you about... I think 2009 is when we did the session, so yeah. it took you about four or five years. Well, actually, it took less than that. Okay. I think if you actually count the number of years, it was less than that. Okay. Probably working with you, it was probably uh, about a, maybe nine months to a year between when we started uh -huh. and when I got to the 315. That's great. So. That's great. So congratulations. Thank you.